What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. We're less than 24 hours away from Dodgers opening day, and we're going to be covering your boys in blue all season long, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, give me your takes down below in the comment section. Today, the Dodgers signed Steven Souza Jr. to a minor league deal. Friedman is always working, and I want to know from you guys, do you think the Dodgers need another right-handed bat? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. Give me your takes down below in the comment section. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So we're closing in on opening day. It feels like Christmas Eve. Dodgers open the season tomorrow against the Colorado Rockies. A 110 star Kershaw will be on the mound for your boys in blue. But even though you've got a break in the action before opening day, Andrew Friedman and company are always putting in work. Today they signed Steven Souza Jr. to a minor league contract. And you might remember back in 2017, he had his best year in the show. He slashed 239, 351, 459, posted an 810 OPS with 30 bombs with the Tampa Bay Rays, and then the Rays traded him to the Arizona Diamondbacks, where he played 72 games in 2018 before suffering a catastrophic knee injury. He tore everything in his knee, his ACL, his LCL, his PCL, and a posterior lateral capsule in his left knee. So a very gruesome knee injury, and that knee injury forced him to miss the entire 2019 season. Then last year, he played with the Chicago Cubs. In 11 games, he slashed 220, 369. He was four for 27 with the Chicago Cubs. He clearly wasn't back to being himself with the Cubbies. So he was cut by Chicago. Then this spring, he was with the Houston Astros. He ends up going two for 21 with 13 strikeouts and 27 plate appearances in spring training. And that's when the Dodgers ended up picking him up. John, hey, what's up, man, was the first to report the news. He tweeted out, Steven Souza Jr. is joining the Dodgers on a minors deal. Good talent just needs to regain timing. So what does this move mean for the Dodgers? Well, you know the Dodgers are in need of a righty bat. He does have some pop, and he does need to rehab a little more. The Dodgers, they have elite performance rehab personnel. If anyone can get him right, is the Dodgers. But I think at the end of the day, it's a low-risk depth piece. He's 31 years old, could be a nice clubhouse presence at AAA. But I do think there's a spot for him on this 40-man roster if you want to replace Luke Rayleigh with him, if he looks the part. And the Dodgers think that he can provide some depth for this club. Now, he does strike out a lot, a career 31.5% strikeout percentage. But you saw a really solid on-base percentage in his best season, and he can get you home runs. So he definitely has some serious pop in that bat. And like I've been saying, depth is going to be key for contenders all around Major League Baseball. So these moves on the margins really pay dividends when you have a full 100 162 game season. You're going to have those dog days. It's going to be a good to have a player like this if he works out, if he can regain his timing, if he can get back to optimal health. And it's not only his knees, also dealt with a pectoral injury. But I think the triple A being back in action is going to be big for guys like this. Guys that need to rehab at the minor league level versus doing it at the show. So maybe he gets his timing and his rhythm back at triple A and the Dodgers give him the call up and he has an impact on this season. But let me know down below in the comments. How do you feel about this move? And for me, it's another example. This organization is always committed to getting better. Whether it's a Chris Taylor trade or a Mookie Betts trade, it's the trades around the margins or the blockbuster moves. This team is always looking to improve, and we'll see how this one turns out. You have to believe the Dodgers have seen something in him and know he can have an impact at some level. But let me know down below in the comments on what your takes. Will this move have an impact on the Dodgers this season? Will he see significant time in the show? And also, do the Dodgers need another right-handed bat let me know down below in the comment section give me a y for yes give me an n for no i want your takes down below in the comment section my name is doug mccain you can follow me on twitter and instagram at dmac underscore la that's at dmac underscore la and the season starts tomorrow so subscribe to the dodgers nation youtube channel if it's about your boys in blue we will be covering it right here all the news and rumors all season long so be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and if you want to see even more dodgers content hit that like button we're dropping a hype video tomorrow so be sure to be on the lookout for that and also for all the latest Dodgers Nation merch head over to gearup.la some of the best t-shirt designs in the game you're going to find it right over there at gearup.la for all the latest Dodgers news head over to DodgersNation.com and until next time think blue bleed blue and I'm out